Hello, hello. Today we're playing Irelia. Now, disclaimer, quick disclaimer, you know, I'm not the best Irelia, I'm trying to learn her. I have like, I don't know, 40 games right now. And uh, I have like a bit of a limited uh, knowledge about her, but you know, I know the general stuff. So, yeah. So, yeah, as I was saying, I'm not the master of Irelia, you know, I asked a lot of people about builds and stuff and combos and everything, so... You will see... I want... You will see, I mean... I wanted to post this because I think Irelia is not played a lot right now, and she's really strong, so... If more people start playing her, maybe more people in my team will start banning her, so I don't have to face this abomination. This abomination, you know? But yeah, I'm, let's get into the build. Now, I see most people go Borg first. Some I've seen like some Trinity and some Sunder first, but I think Borg feels the best, at least for me. Then you go Trinity or Sunder. You can go Witsend second as well if they're heavy AP. There's a lot of combinations you can do. You can go Witsend second if they're heavy AP into Sunder or into Trinity or Trinity first into Witsend. It's all up to your preference, I'm pretty sure. The most standard build I use is uh, something like this. I actually, I should, I actually think Trinity feels better, but Sandra just makes you so tanky. I think it's less to get punished. It's uh, way harder to get punished if you have Sandra compared to Trinity. Yeah, then Death Dance, you know, really broken item, and it's even more broken on Irelia. I saw there are some builds where you can go Black Cleaver. I haven't really experienced experimented with too much but it can work then uh, Sterox classic you know gives you a lot of tankiness the tenacity is really good and GA last item but yeah it's just the order that masters most of the times just uh, how you feel and what you're up against you know you can go a lot of different things on her yeah that's it for the build the runes conquer always brutal or triumph. I play with brutal on her because my first clear is kind of scuffed. Sometimes I drop the stacks, but uh, usually you go triumph. I think triumph procs on her are pretty, pretty nutty. Then as always, titan or carapace. Titan if they have CC, carapace if they don't, and pathfinder. I don't think she needs the haste. Your cooldowns are so low already on this champion. And Mastermind is kinda useless as well. I think Pathfinder is better overall. Oh yeah, the boots, the boots, uh mercs or plated. I mean chance proto belt is kinda alright, I think. You can stop your third ability better your stun, so if not then Zonia. Yeah, that's pretty much it. As I said, I don't know everything about her. Maybe there's something I haven't heard of or tested, but pretty sure. These are the general opinions on her. Now time for the gameplay. This was actually also really recent, like yesterday on stream. And yeah, as I was saying, I'm not really a pro I really. I know I play her, I started to practice her again because she's not, she's not getting nerfed for because she has a new skin, right? She's getting the high noon Irelia, of course right, won't nerf her. At least they didn't buff her again, I guess. Thank you, right? But yeah, with Irelia, you usually want to start Krugs because it can, uh, you can stack really fast your first ability, but you have to be careful because after you kill the, sm the big Krug, the one with 1k HP, the small ones don't give you stacks if you attack them, only if you use abilities, so you actually have to get your resets down. But yeah, if you have a leash from your board lane, I think you just start red. Doesn't really matter that much. It's like a few 2-3 seconds difference anyway. But yeah, I have Jin, like look at my leash. You need 1k on my red bomb. But if you're starting alone or your top laner is something useless like a Malphite, or I don't know, just start Krugs and learn how to keep your stacks. Yeah, Iridia has a pretty good jungle clear. You can also look to 4 camp with her, but uh, yeah. It's not that great in this patch. You see, I'm uh, losing my stacks even though I'm hitting something. So you just have to play for resets. Usually you want to draw tracks towards your raptors, so it's easier to keep the stacks. Here yeah, I almost lost them. Yeah, I see mid lane is trading really hard. It's Kragas into Malphite's melee matchup. 
It's really easy to gank. I drag my raptors so I can get some stacks. But I didn't kill them, so I actually have no stacks, but it's fine, we just go kill the Malphite. Nice freebie, we help the Gragas push out his wave. Vi comes in, she flashes in. I hit the third ability, I'm so good. I just get another freebie, I crash his wave. And it's already a really good early game. Vi thinks that's worth for her, maybe, but it's actually not worth. We see our Camille is getting feasted by Karma Top. But Karma Top is just walking into Camille's tower, so it should be a free kill here. Now, this Karma has flashed the whole time. I was expecting him to press it, but he just doesn't. He just wants to die, I guess. And guess what? We're 3 0 at 2 minutes. Pretty big snowball. Now this game won't be that big of a stomp, I mean it will be kind of a stomp. But uh, if we are not stomping, I'm like 0 20 on Iredia, so yeah. Now the thing is, Iredia jungle, I think she is better in lane still, I think she's way better mid lane, and maybe even top lane. Because in jungle, if you don't get heals or you're not ahead, it's kinda hard to play. And there are some disgusting matchups, like Olaf is pretty unplayable. I played against Riven, it was kinda okay-ish, but I felt like it's hard to 1v1 her. If she dodges my third ability, I actually lose. Like, the thing with Irelia is here, like I said, Karma still has flash. Kinda weird. His wave is fine, I'm just looking to see if the cannon dies, but it won't die. So we just let the wave uh, slow push. Yeah, what was I saying? I forgot already. <laughs> Nice Alzheimer. Um, uh... Oh yeah, I was talking about uh, the Ribbon matchup. Yeah, if Ribbon dodges your third ability, you kinda lose the matchup in jungle. But you don't get 1v1 that often, it's just team fights. That's like where most of the skill on Irelia comes. You can be decent and just press buttons. But the good Irelias can hit the third ability really consistently. That's where all the skill in Irelia is, in my opinion, other than the first ability resets. Because you can just auto aim it after you press ultimate and it's gonna do the work for you. Yeah, we see Midi trading really hard again. We can look to get the Malphite if he decides to push, but we see why he stops, so. We can either start Drake, but I decide to go for the Malphite here. And really, I don't know how I missed this third ability, by the way. It's kinda unfortunate. Yeah, we could have went Drake, but you know, it's Mountain, who cares? I just wanna play for kills so it looks good on YouTube, right? And 5 0 at 4 minutes, not bad. We start the Drake. We do it really fast because we have Jin, he does a lot of damage. We get the Drake. The enemy Vi did the Herald, but it's fine. Here we can look for a bot lane. Now here I didn't trust the Galio, I didn't expect him to go like this, just E flash in. It's my bad, I should have followed this earlier. We will for sure kill Vayne. This guy is actually pretty good, pretty crazy. He doesn't care, he just goes in. That's why I was so surprised, I should trust him more. Yeah, I decide to go with Sand here, because they have AP Malphite mid, they have Karma top, they have Lulu. And Vi, it's only Vi who does AD. Vayne is like through the mid here, I messed up. <laughs> I, missed, I missed the second ability. <laughs> Guys, I'm learning, okay? I'm learning Irelia, relax. Please don't flame me. I have no mastery on this champ on my main account, so... I got an excuse. But yeah, she clears really fast, as you can see. It's also because I'm a bit fed, but you know, it's normal to have Bork at 5 minutes. We will look for a play on bot again because uh, we know they kinda used everything uh, one minute ago. And I think we'll just uh, dive this straight up. Here, she did a really good condemn, the vein. Nice exhaust, I kinda can't do anything. But the dive still works out in the end. We juggle aggro really well. Malphite came though, unfortunately. I stun him and we're out. Nice shoot by Jin. 
Yeah, we're kinda lucky we got out of here, but it's fine. We had to force to punish the Vayne Lulu because they actually kinda scale pretty hard against us. Only Gragas can really deal with the Vayne. Vi took top tower, got the kill. She's actually ahead of me in gold, that's crazy, because I'm 5 0. It's just because of the Herald and the Soul Tower, she got so much gold. That's why I'm saying every time, like, you have to look, if you're not a 1v9, especially in champions like Kha'Zix or Jax or whatever, you have to look for Herald and First Tower every time. It's such a huge gold injection, you get a huge lead out of it, especially if you don't share plates with anyone. So, at least 1k gold. Yeah. We just keep on farming. Jin died, unfortunately, but it should be not that big of a problem. See why he's pushing mid. She doesn't have Herald anymore, so. You know, she can't do much right now. She'll just go blue buff, probably. I'm actually behind on XP as well, that's crazy. We saw her going wolves, she'll go clear blue ground, probably, after. We have our wits and we will just reset. I think Negragas at Vi's spot side, he should be careful. I don't think they can dive him though. We see the Vi now. He's leaving, he's going top. We can look for a dive on bot lane right now because we know Vi will stay top side and we see Malphite is hovering top side as well. See so there is a ward on Krugs, but we don't care. They they all rotated mid actually. I think our Jin can hold the tower pretty easily. I go just in case they try to dive him. But here I kinda force. I mean not force, I get caught a bit. But it's not really me getting caught because I have Galio ult. I'm just baiting, haha. <laughs> she baited. Vi goes in, my Jin is uh, busy doing some <laughs> Valorant gameplays, just go. But yeah, they clean up anyway. Even though... The burst talk is on me. Our Jin might get a penta here. Come on, Jin, buddy. No, that's tragic. Very unfortunate was his moment. Get a penta kill for the YouTube. Nightbreaker spectating top one Jin EU. Penta kill. 1v9 gameplay. 100% accuracy. Okay. Camille is fine. We should play Drake, Cloud is really huge for us, or at least for me. Sivane is pretty low, it should be free dragon. If they don't troll on mid right now. All fight was overextended. Here I tried to look for the vein, but I can't. I flash back to try and peel the Jin. We just killed the Vi. I'm such a team player, we get a nice stun. She's dead. We should just go Drake. I don't think we can catch them. Here I whiffed the ult, unlucky. It was because of uh, Lulu movement speed, obviously. That's why I missed. I mean, I tried. I'm still not used to the range on the ultimate. Because it also like has to fly, you know. And by the time it flies, they already move out of range, so... Happens, happens. We saw them going to Herald, but they can't really do it. So what I was thinking about tower, but I would rather take the Herald. See the Malphite. Get the Herald. Then runs away and just go farm. Yeah, I'm going Sandra this game. As I said, I think Trinity... It's really good, it's actually really good against them as well, but Sandra just makes you way tankier. You have more sustain, and it's less... Uh, I don't know, I just feel like I get less punished, I'm a lot tankier overall. With Trinity, I feel like I die in one second. Maybe I just... it was in the mid comp or something. Maybe I... I, I don't know, I just have to play Irelia more, I guess. Maybe if there's an Irelia specialist in the comments, you can let me know. I was like looking through YouTube for a lot of Irelia gameplays, but I didn't really find anything too special. Especially for jungle Irelia, there's not that many gameplays. 
just the top one server, you know. Our Gagas is just killing everyone, we're chilling, we go push mid. Our Camille also took tier 3 with the Herald, it's pretty cracked. Yeah, now we're really ahead, we just opened the whole map. Try to help out the Gragas. Malphite tilted the, <laughs> the floor, we just go in. Giga chat gameplay. Look, I'm just pressing buttons, I don't even need to use my third ability. Just hit ultimate and start dashing around. Flash and load Vi, what is she gonna do about it? Nothing. Vi is like kinda decent into Irelia, but I think after you get distance, Vi can never do anything to you. Just to see you for two seconds and pray your your vein can kill me or something, you know. Not really a favorable matchup. But yeah, Olaf and Riven and Zin. Zin was kinda difficult as well. When I played it, but I was kinda behind behind him. I still have a lot of matchups to learn. Yeah, jungle matchups are not like that important, it's more like team comps, I think. If they have a lot of CC, they have like, I don't know, Galio, they have Galio support, they have Riven jungle, they have something with CC top, it's really, really hard to play for Aurelia. So my team is fighting top, I will rotate. Jin is kind of far. Yeah, I'm looking to go. I whiff the third skill. I whiff the, <laughs> I whiff the ultimate as well. <laughs> Malfa gets away. <laughs> yeah, unlucky, unlucky. I'm practicing learning how to aim on Irelia. 40 games, 40 games. I just need a few, a few hundred more, you know. Yeah. I mean, I kind of autocasted everything. Not the flashiest Irelia player yet. Soon though. Oh, the FPS got really messed up again. But it only lasts like uh, 30 seconds or something usually. Then it gets fixed again. And it's literally Twitch. When I download votes from Twitch, this happens always. But we just have to deal with it. At least it's not in pixels like my stream. Yeah, we get the Drake. We can look to Nash soon, they have one tier 3 tower, they can't even leave their base. I'm thinking we'll go Nash after I get my distance. My distance, longsword, pretty strong. So only the Vi has gold, she has 14k, she's the only threat. I probably should have went Zonia, but I didn't care that much. Like I always don't buy Zonia early unless it's a really try hard game. I just buy damage to have fun. <laughs> Here Gagas just blows up the Malphite. The team is just zoning and fighting, we finish the Nash, we don't care. Flashing over to join the fight. <laughs> what is this ultimate man? Am I even trying to hit it at this point? But yeah, it doesn't matter, I already so broken, you just have to get four stacks and press, <laughs> press auto attack button. <laughs> Why is everyone pinging me guys? Stop bullying. And yeah, that's the GG. 15 minutes, pretty quick game. Had a really strong early game. Had a really strong early game, snowballed quite a bit. And let's see, did I even do damage? Oh, 91% of Irelias. Really good. Oh, yeah, you just uh, did most damage. Cool. <laughs> Lucky. Malphite was challenger. Interesting. Royal. Royal wins mid. But yeah, that's it for the gameplay. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. Tomorrow is gonna be a lot of new patch content. I will probably stream all day, so I'm not even sure I'll have time to upload a video, but we will see. Gonna be really exciting.